And I want to talk just for a couple minutes about what's going on in the presidential campaign. And what President Obama is doing, ladies and gentlemen, is he's trying to buy this election. We played that soundbite from 1998 where he said, look, if we can get enough people dependent on government, we can form a majority coalition. And that has been the objective of liberals in America for decades now. That's why they keep pumping one program after another. They try to keep shipping dollars out the door. They try to expand money going into these welfare programs. They claim it's for the poor. They claim it's for the needy. They claim it's all about compassion. It's not. It's about them. It's about them getting, securing, and maintaining political power. That is all it's about. Don't think for one minute it has anything to do with genuine compassion for hurting people. It's all about power, about getting so many people dependent on government largesse that they will vote for whatever party promises them the most goodies, and everybody knows it's going to be uh, the Democrats. Even the Washington Post has kind of tumbled onto this and looking at what Obama's done in the state of Ohio. Most people think that you can't win the presidency without winning Ohio, Virginia, and Florida. Those are the three states that everybody's focused on. Now, there are other uh, arrangements that'll, that'll get you to the White House, but most people think, look, especially Mitt Romney, if he's going to win this thing, he's got to take Ohio, got to take Virginia, got to take Florida. And so what Barack Obama's been doing is he's been dumping billions, literally billions of dollars into the state of Ohio. He started dumping billions of dollars into Ohio almost as soon as he got elected. Number to call, by the way, 888-589-8840, 888 uh, So they, the part of the clean energy manufacturing tax credits that he was handing out as a part of the stimulus plan was $2.3 billion total in Ohio got tens of millions of dollars more than any other state. Barack Obama trying to buy the votes of the good uh, folks in the state of Ohio. Now, high-speed rail. In 2010, Barack Obama gave the state $400 million to resume passenger train service between Cincinnati, Cleveland, and other cities, a service that had ended for Decades earlier, why had it ended? Why hadn't they been doing this for 40 years? Because nobody wanted it. It was not commercially uh, viable. Uh, so he brought him a billion dollars in stimulus money back in March of 2009. He's handing out small business administration loans. And listen to, to, to the ones he's given them to, to a guy named Brian Reese or Rice, who runs a company making potato chips and snack food. I don't know if he checked with Michelle Obama before he started doling out the money to this guy, but $3.9 million in small business loans to this guy since Obama got into office. And then he saw to it that a $5.49 million small business loan went to Maselli Dairy Products in Cleveland, which makes ricotta and uh, other cheeses. And so far this year, 2012, the Small Business Administration under President Obama has approved 2700 and 26 loans for Ohio businesses. That's more than 500 more than Florida, which is a state that has 7.3 million more people. So again, his wife is out there saying, hey, we got to reduce school lunches down to 750 calories or 850 calories, two, like two ounces of protein or whatever, two grams of protein or two something of protein, ridiculously small amount. I got a story about that we'll get to as the program uh, develops. But here, Barack Obama, his wife is out there saying, hey, you got to lay off the snacks. You got you to lay off the fatty cheeses. And here, Barack Obama, her husband's out there shoving millions of dollars in small business administration loans to people so they can make this stuff. Why? Because they are operating in Ohio, a swing state. Barack Obama trying to buy the votes of this election. Talk about what he's doing with food stamps and iPhones next.